Hey guys, it's Joe Bobby, and welcome back to another video. So, today I'm going to teach you how to draw Goku. Not just regular Goku, but I wanted to try something different and teach you kid Goku. So, in the Dragon Ball franchise, most of the people haven't seen it, but we are just going to go right into the video. So, we're going to start with the head, and Goku, kid Goku, has... A pretty round face. Okay, just to let you all know. So I'm gonna make it look round. I'm actually gonna go immediately instead of just adding any anything into it. I'm just gonna go immediately to the clothes and all that. So this video doesn't get too long. <laughs> but here we got the ears. Okay. And we are actually going to go straight to the hair. So, most of you know how Goku's hair looks like. But for the people who don't know, it's spiky. It's very, very spiky. It's literally just spikes everywhere. Okay, it's not really how you imagine, like I explained it, but... You, you'll see what I mean once I'm done drawing it. <laughs> but, it's pretty self-explanatory. Spikes. Like this. Like that. I used to try to draw Goku a lot as a kid. Like, literally trying to draw Goku a lot. So now it's pretty much natural <laughs> on how to draw it. And also a tip for drawing the ears. Usually what I do for anime and cartoons, I just draw like that and like that. Okay. I'm gonna do the same with this side, like that, all right? Okay, so the pose that I'm gonna do is actually gonna be a little different no, it's not going to be that different to the point that it's literally hilarious, but it's a pose that he does in the, in the, when he, what he did in the Dragon Ball franchise. And he actually did it a lot, unless you all didn't watch the Dragon Ball franchise and you just skipped to Dragon Ball Z, which I don't advise anyone to do that, but most of the fans did that. And I actually started by watching Dragon Ball and then Dragon Ball Z after. And here, here's the thumb. Like that, okay? And here we are going to bring it back like this. And we are going to do the same on this side. So, like this. And actually bring this down all the way here. This is gonna go, in reality, Right now, if this wasn't a tutorial, and I wouldn't try to be going so slow and drawing the normal speed, I probably would have been, let's see, I'm trying to think, I would probably be drawing the knees and all right now, maybe. Everyone tells me that I draw really, really fast, <laughs> but honestly, to be completely honest, I don't think I draw that fast. Do I draw fast? I mean, you can write it in the comments below to tell me, but... And I'll try to slow down if I can, but... I honestly don't think I draw that fast. I just draw how I'm comfortable with. Or what I'm comfortable with. And also, you are free to pause the video if you want. Anytime you want, pause the video. I can't stress that enough. Pause the video if you need to. Okay? What? Here we are drawing part of the clothes as well. Right there. Now we are going to draw the belt, okay? A normal black belt, like Goku has. We are going to stop here, and here we are going to draw a circle. We will add more detail into that after. But in reality, what I'm going to try to do, so I'm going to go immediately to it, to not confuse anyone, but... In the middle, he has this. He has it like that. And then... Whoops. 
try not to make him look too fat. I'll probably fix this part after. Or I'll fix it now. Let's go skill him. Ah, I'm doing the same thing. What I'm trying to do is not make it look too curvy so he doesn't look fat. Like this. Actually, he is a bit chubby when he's a kid. Yeah, he actually kind of is. So I don't think I'm doing it wrong, but it's not right either. So, like that. First part of the bow. And then it actually goes all the way and wraps around. And then over here, we have this part of the bow. And this part, this part right here. Like that, okay? And then we are going to go to draw the knees and the feet. Like that. And he's kind of doing jumping, kind of. That's not even kind of, he's literally jumping. <laughs> it's a pretty weird pose, bud. I had to sort of do it for this video because why the heck not? Who wouldn't? Probably, I love drawing different poses. I don't really like just drawing the boring, that kind of pose, you know? I like to draw the fun poses. Ones that it's actually cool and fun to look at. Not just something that looks weird, you know? So, like this. Yeah, so it's just supposed to be a bit bigger than me. I want this one to be this big. Actually, if I look at it, this one is actually too big. It's actually supposed to go. Like that, and all the way up here, like that. And then this one, again, I should probably put it bigger. Should definitely make it bigger, actually. I'm just gonna go like this. And, uh... And then... This, and we are actually going to draw the shoes now. Like that. And um, we are going to draw a curve here and this up is kind of where the socks are. And then here's where, where the shoes are gonna end and we're gonna draw some lines going up like this. I don't know, am I going too fast? It has only been eight, it has only been eight minutes, jeez. Okay, yeah, I'm actually pretty fast, I just realized. <laughs> After all this time, people telling me that I'm drawing fast, I guess they're right. What? I'm gonna erase this and draw it again. This. We're going for the shoes, like this, and like this. Okay. Then if we have this, I'm checking, looking to see. Um, this one looks a lot more complete than this side. I'm thinking, looking at the picture. Like the problem is that. Let's see. This and uh, like that. Okay. I love making tutorials. <laughs> now we're gonna do the same thing with the shoes. I think you all get it right now how the shoes are. Like that. All right. Then here we are going to add a bit more detail. And here, now, this part. 
here is where there's like some Japanese writing or Chinese writing. I'm not sure which one of both of them it is. But I'm gonna zoom in to the circle. And we are going to start. Uh, I'm gonna try my best. I'm not really good at this. Sorry, guys. <laughs> or girls, whoever one of you are watching. This. Yeah, for now, that's my best attempt. Fix it a bit more after. But I feel like for now, it's not bad. Now, the face. Probably the funnest part. Or one of the fun funnest parts. We got the whole body. And now what we are going to do, I'm actually going to get up a bit because my legs are hurting from sitting down, but I am basically going to draw the eyebrows here, then we got the, the eyes, nose is going to be about here, and then the mouth is going to be a huge smile, so we're going to do that right now. Let's we'll start with the, um, the eyebrows. For you. The eyebrows probably the simplest part of the whole drawing. You can't really mess up eyebrows unless it's not the right height or something, the right height or something. But either other than that, you can't really mess up eyebrows to make it look wrong. Really, what really you many people usually mess up, especially me. I feel like it's not even the eyebrows; it's just the the proportion of the eyebrows see if it's the right height compared to the other one and all that you know but yeah other than that it's pretty easy here we got an eye look at that goku goku then here we are going to try to align it as best as possible like this and the nose is kind of a little curved going like this Okay, so my camera somehow stopped working, but let's continue. <laughs> Once we draw the curve for the nose here, we are going to go to the mouth. The mouth is gonna be a smile. I'm gonna do it right now. It's gonna actually, since I probably made it a little too thick, the nose. Let's fix it. Like that, there you go. And the mouth, we are gonna draw the smile that Goku has. Like this. Now we are going to get a thicker, a thicker pencil. I would say 2B would be a pretty good one. 2B, I'm looking for something like 4B, there we go. Right here, 4B. I'm gonna grab my sharpener, sharpen this up. Yeah. There you go. So, a 4B pencil would work if you have one. And we are going to start to prevent any smudging. Here we have this to cover up and go like that. So uh, we are going to first add this quick part. And yeah, we just need to add the teeth and we are ready. So teeth are for Dragon Ball characters especially, or any cartoon really. Pretty much, it is just curves and lines. Like that. Alright, now that we got that, we can now get the thicker pencil and start. So, we're basically darkening it out. And actually, this is one, let's see. I'm looking for one that's sharper because that one is kind of old and it's not really sharpened correctly ever. 2B, here. A 2B pencil. There you go. Yeah, that's better. That's a lot easier. <laughs> Pretty much what we are doing is darkening everything, kind of shading it in. 
underlying it kind of it's kind of like inking but with pencil that's that's literally exactly what i'm doing inking with pencil like this and um you're going to shade this part in and shade this part in you're going to draw the smile again like that But yeah, it's just inking with pencil. That's literally all it is. Then you're then going to shade this part. this yep. and we are basically going to continue like this for a little while so i'm going to time lapse um me doing the just inking over it basically and after that once i'm done with that i'll catch you guys then and we will start with the shading all right, now that I'm done, I am going to go with an H pencil and I am going to start shading all the parts. So when I look at this, the light is coming from here. All right, this is where the light is coming from. And everything that is facing away from that light is going to be shaded in. For example, this part is facing away from the light. So I am going to shade it in. Basically everything under the hair here is getting blocked by the hair so you can't actually see it basically like make it make sense for example right under the hair that is also covered the the actual chin is covering from hitting light here so that will be shaded in as well and yeah that's pretty much what i am going to do Right now, it's pretty simple. It shouldn't take a very long time. I'm actually just going to do this quickly. And then, yeah. So, yeah, it shouldn't, shouldn't be too difficult for any of you. Especially if you have experience in drawing. So, yeah. I'm actually going to prevent smudging by putting this paper on top. Because I don't want to smudge my drawing. So. Yeah. There we have it. Um, there isn't actually much around this drawing. Like, really? There isn't. There's way less than I thought. Originally, I thought there was going to be a lot of shading, but actually, no. I'm actually going to use my electrical eraser. To take this part because I shaded way too much there. <laughs> Here. Like this. Here, this part should be shaded. Here. Over here. Like, like this. Um, under the belt as well. This and um, under here, this part as well is getting blocked a little bit. I'm still just looking around and seeing what would make sense to shade and what wouldn't make sense to shade. Like 
twist under here. Take it that and um, here. It'll make sense, trust me. It makes sense putting it here as well. It might not make sense, but just think about it as other places blocking the light, not just anything close to just everything, everything in general. For example, the hair on top could easily affect what's down here. Because of the hair, anything can affect anything. And then over here as well. And this. There. Um, and yeah, that is pretty much it. This is how you draw Goku from Dragon Ball Z. Let me take my charger out. This is Goku from Dragon Ball Z. This is how you draw it step by step. I actually forgot to put my signature in it. You should never forget that. So I'm actually going to do it right now. I am going to use a B pencil right here. And I'm going to do it right now. There you go. This is how you draw Goku from Dragon Ball Z. Very simple to draw him. Here's the picture that I had. And right here is where I have it. But anyway, I, ho I hope you all did enjoy this tutorial. Smash the like button, subscribe if you are new, and turn on the post notifications so you can receive notifications every time I upload. Also, go, um, whoops. go follow... Um, actually, no, I don't know. Oh, yeah, go follow my Instagram at Art, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.